anything. doesn't bode well, but I'm kind of here looking for, um, I'm here looking for Rusty's stuff anyway. I'm not really looking for myself, so it's okay that they're blasting Paul McCartney, and, um, I'll just have to keep talking over it, because I really want to talk during this video, but I can't take the chance of paying Paul McCartney royalties, so I'm gonna keep talking. I'm out of the house. <laughs> Buckle up! <laughs> I'm rolling the car down the driveway quietly. <laughs> Can't find my sunglasses, which is not good for me, and as a result, it's not good for anybody. I have new glasses on the way. Annie is busy right now, so uh, basically I'm using this time to get out and, uh, and hunt. I have not been out in days, literally days. Um, because we have a, a, a starter issue with our other car right now that we're trying to get resolved. Which basically means that I'm going to have to uh, uh, change a starter. Which I'm not, you know, it doesn't scare me or anything. Um, I, I've unplugged things in front of thousands of people at a live concert. And, uh, I mean, I haven't blown shit up for a living or anything, don't get me wrong, but uh, I, you know, I guess what I'm saying is I've made very loud noises in front of people and lived to tell. You know, changing a starter, it's relatively simple. See, these days, everything exists on YouTube. There's like this extensive uh, well of knowledge and demonstration by people from all around the globe as to how to do things on YouTube. Don't have to be um, necessarily an expert at things anymore, which is like really kind of cool. Um, you know, there are still things I'm not gonna goof around with. I don't, I don't work with plate glass and I don't work with children. But, uh, you know, there's still some shit I'll do for a buck, I guess. It's Friday night. And instead of being with my wife, I'm going to go be creepy in Target. Okay. Come with me. The final rays of the setting sun kick the red ball.
I do love Halloween, but you can't tell by looking at me. Let's see. Check the gamer area. Poor Kong. Nothing here, nothing here. time I've run across this thing. It is formidable. Well, not looking like much. Shocking. Let's go see if the action figures are cleared up. Pardon. Absolutely nothing new. Check the Rathlin. Nope, still got a Stacy Keebler uh, figure. Honey. another thing Trees. Let's see 
if we can kick the red ball again. Let's do it. This um, comic version of the character. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, the new movie, but because The Rock is always great. But Rusty, thank you for sending me some more Baku Gun. Uh, I appreciate it. It it gives me, you know, a reason to open more. <laughs> Can't, you know, I can't look at my wife and go. So anyway, let's see what we got here. Give a little, a little family. Another family back there. A couple different families. Um, I love these hypers back. I can't wait until they're putting out something a little different in the line. Um, oh, that's nice. What is that? can't read anything empty. <sighs> Folks, my eyes are so gone, you know? It's from living a lifetime of reading things in the dark with a flashlight for my work. All right, no more of those in there, Rusty, but I did find you one at the last store, so that's pretty cool. This Ricky the Dragon, what's going on with your hands, bro? You got that arthritis. And you're a long way from where you belong. Uh, Rusty, you should not have, but I love you for sending that to me. And, uh, yeah, nothing new. There's a huge dump bed down here, but I'm gonna guess there's nothing in there already. Pass my hand over this and say, hey. nope. Not today, Satan. Not today. I knew they were gonna do this, by the way. The Lux edition. Elvira, I swear. I will. Uh, then if I find it, I'm going to set it on fire. Because it's an ugly figure. That's cool. I have never seen the artist proof of the Joker before. Is that supposed to be Cesar Romero now? God, that head sculpt looks really different. There's none of the other ones to sort of compare it to, but... Uh, <laughs> overpriced horse shit. Uh, there's the black and white proof of Adam last too. There's a bunch of them. No surprise. It's no surprise. Overpriced garbage. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna ask if you're really into doing this, why would you buy it already built? The whole point of that is to build it. Alright. Suicide watch. <laughs> Still 15 bucks. Ouch. Get out of me. Owls moving bowels. Whoa. 
There you go. Uh, there you go, Andre. A NECA Elvira thing. And in it, you get a beanie that probably doesn't fit. A t-shirt that will go bad. An action figure. It's got to be so expensive. They don't have a, um, they don't have a, uh, Disney area, so I will not be dancing here. Disappointment down the hill, otherwise known as the airport, Super Wally. And they've actually got the music down low enough to, that I can think. That's kind of nice. I can maybe talk over it. I just don't want to stare at my mouth. Um, anyway, let's take a look at what So, uh, Nazar, I saw you point this out in your most recent video. What these are is the Genesis Evolutions Collection, and these two have LEDs in them that when they open up, they go off. So that explains that. Now the pegs are fluffy with nothing I really want, but we'll take a look. I'm really kind of here for Matchbox, so. I'm just gonna give this a precursory look over. There's nothing here. These are all older cases. Good stuff, but not what I am looking for. Somebody tried to steal that, or no, uh, they're trying to. Come on, peeps. Tired of choking on this shit. And nothing else. I mean, these hyper specs. Again, these things are fantastic. It's a 132 scale. The um, detail is amazing. And they're not super expensive, even, even today, still. Um, where is iron? Okay, well, go check the phone booth um, over here. There's a phone booth. <laughs> um, yeah, not a uh, rolling the noisy cart through. That makes me feel at home. It doesn't matter what time I'm here. It doesn't matter what. I come through the noisy bloody cart comes around. Or those. Nope. Rusty, thank you for sending me that gasser. That was really primo. And all the treasure hunts, man. You're insane. You are absolutely awfully for your 
you know, Australians are just really off their rocker, but dude. That's the second one. Okay. So, I, in a recent show we did, um, somebody was commenting, don't cover uh, Lego very much. Well, what I wanted to ask is that, you know, covering Lego through the glass, I, I, I'm not saying that it cuts down on my looking at it, but it, um, it cuts down on me accessing it, I think, certainly, um, which I don't mind. I understand why Walmart is doing this. I'm not proud of that as a human being, but I understand it, right? So I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not angry about this, but you know, things like the basket and stuff are gonna be a thing of the past. They have to lock everything up. And again, it's because people are being human beings. To be better people, we can be better. Okay, so I was going through the uh, Black Adam stuff. It's right here. I'm gonna have to clean this all up. But then I noticed that the DC characters are on sale here. And I looked through, and who do I find? Come on. Damn right, I'm picking that up. what you get when you dig. And that's, I saw Nas explaining what toy hunting and car hunting and stuff like that, like what it meant to people who may be new to it, because we don't think about that, you know, sometimes. And um, I thought it was a good explanation, you know, we, uh, it's music, oh wow. Bad spines don't light up, but 11 bucks, 11 dollars clearance that's pretty cool. So, I'm at our final uh, Walmart here. I guess up the car, and I'm gonna find out if there's anything in here because I gotta return this oil that my wife sent me to do this, and so got to do it at the last stop so I'm gonna do it here the other thing is my keychain fell apart and it's like this Marvel keychain I don't know I gotta go back to the uh, radar toys tomorrow poor me but I gotta talk to them about this product because I don't think they're gonna want to sell it this keychain literally fell apart on me I lost a big piece off of it the other day. I was like, eh, I don't care about that so much. But now, it has completely fallen apart. It's poor.
Waiting on the clearance. It's quiet. Oh boy. So right after I filmed uh, that Jurassic Park hoodie, somebody came right up behind me and took it right off, <laughs> right off the hanger. Good for you folks. You got it. I don't really care. But it's funny, like they grabbed it like it was something because I had filmed it. See, my filming things brings importance. <laughs> um, I just... People think I'm paying people to do this or something. I mean, it's, it never, it never fails. Never fails. Um, <laughs> so back to the point. Uh, this is the worst piece of trash. Uh, this makes, this takes everything that um, has been worked out in uh, quantum theory and stuffs it in somebody's butthole. Some new Batman, sort of. Sort of. Oof. Nope. And. Loud fucking car. Okay, what am, yeah, what am I in the Barbie row looking for, princesses? I am looking for the Bratz stuff. Because I want to show you something if they've got it here, but I've never really looked for this stuff before. So, bear with me a second. There's all the bluey. We, we dig the bluey already, we know that. And... Here, look at these. I think these things are super imaginative and I can actually get that commentary in right now because the, uh, the music isn't really loud, but here comes the car. So, so what I'm looking for is the heat. There was this guy, uh, I will have to dig up the link, but I saw a discussion of the, um, the new Ghost Rider set that's coming out. And what this cat did was he bought a Bratz car for, you know, for those Bratz figures that fit like it actually even looked good with a Hulk figure behind the wheel. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go home and grab the link of that and post it up here um, so that you all can go find it because it's how reviews ought to be done. It was fantastic and it alerted everybody that you could get a better vehicle for 30 bucks than the $300 thing that's coming out from HasLab. So, they don't have them here, but I figured I would look. What the hell? Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Ach, mir chain Hey! I have a lot of crap on my desk. On my desk? subscribe will you we got banana pants Woo. we are one subscriber away apparently one tip the scales one more subscriber i think they're gonna fall right off of me honestly i think they're too big don't you subscribe? Not just to get to 300, but I mean, let's go bananas past 300. Subscribe.
please. I'm with the show here. Um, actually, I do, I do have a. <clears throat> Tighten you down. Oh no! All right. If you miss the box opening, okay. Um, Rusty came through with. Um, first of all, the, it, this is the second Tomica uh, product I've ever owned in my life, but. Um, this one's really nice and it's in the case and I can put it in its little box, um, and get it off of card, which is really nice. So, um, I am, I am going to do that. Um, but I would love to maybe even take a closer look at this car. Um, then he also, Rusty, uh, Rusty at Rusty's Garage, if you're not subscribed to Rusty, you really should be. Um, Rusty is such a sweetheart and he pays such close attention to everybody else's programming. Um, and his, so his, his programs are coming along really nicely. I mean like really, really nicely. Um, and not just because he uses embarrassing footage of me from my videos every once in a while. Um, I love you, Rusty. You're the man. And he sent me a, um, a Halo Warthog, which was super big, okay? Because I'm really into Halo. And while I was out, um, I got a couple more of these Halo figures. So I'm gonna like open these things here in a minute. And um, let's see what else. Oh, um, this is the keychain that's all busted up. Take that in. Um, Rusty also added this mini uh, pickup to my collection, which, again, Rusty is such a sweetheart, and he is, he's, um, if you, if you don't know, he's a, he's a guy that's on dialysis about three times a week, so, and, like, you know, it's a whole day event, you know, it's not like he plugs in in the morning and he's, you know, by, by, by noon he's transfused. Um, he puts out a lot of content for the fact that he also goes and puts in a full day of work and then also is uh, on dialysis for three times a week. So... Uh, first of all, go subscribe to his channel. Second of all, um, be amazed at his photography, his macro photography and stuff of products, whether it's uh, die cast or, you know, just of late, he's been filling his time with some Bakugan um, to, to just get over the hump that we're all kind of feeling right now. I don't know if you're seeing like a big flow of die cast out there. I do see pockets of it happening like on the East Coast and in the South and stuff. But um, if you're out here on the West Coast, at least up here in the North Pacific Northwest, um, it's kind of catch as catch can, you know, and I try to keep my local uh, friends and family filled in on what, <laughs> what I'm finding and they're sending me texts. So we're, we're literally sometimes running across town when somebody hits us with a text again i don't know what's going on with you all trying to find things in the in the diecast world but our son excuse me our son came came through in a big way where is it <laughs> oh my gosh i've got too many things at my desk um oh I threw it on the ground already. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're in a real sharp operation around here. Sorry, I was caught at a reverie. London was a tremendous amount of fog anyway. Our, 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 our son 
walked up, found this on the pegs. He like walked up and it was there. He sent me a picture. He's like, is this the one you're looking for? Yes, of course. Uh, it was the only one there though. And it was at the, the target in town here where I had been the night before. So the new case went out sometime that day and this was just sitting right on the front of the pegs. A little bit like Nazar finding the um, treasure hunts. I, I, you know, which by the way, Nazar, every time you have scored a treasure hunt or a super with, especially with those skylines, because the skyline is the car that I always associate with you, that and the Mustang. Um, I was so happy to see that you got those both. If you all have not seen on Nazar's channels, Nostalgic and uh, Shelby Street, he's been, he, he's been tremendous good karma lately with Diecast. And I, you know, I think he's out in, uh, in the Philadelphia area. I'm not going to say anything further than that because I respect everyone's privacy. They can dox themselves, but I will not knowingly give out anybody's address online or necessarily tell anybody where anybody is, you know. Um, you never know. The internet's weird. Okay. Um, ooh, look, find you later. Ooh. That was close. I'm gonna have to look at that in the replay. Um, anyway, this is the Blitz Fox, which uh, Rusty said, hey, it's it's a little like your name. And I was like, yeah. Uh, the really brilliant thing here is that it is an Aquos. So this is a, uh, a type and color of um, standard Bakugan ball that I really need in my set. And wow, the Blitz, the Blitz box really pops out nice. That is super cool. Um, as always, and if this is the first time you've ever seen one of these Bakugan, they are engineered a little like a transformer. A lot of them uh, fold up just into a sphere. That's the way that you roll them. It's part of the game. Um, anyway, we've been passing these around a little bit and Rusty, this is actually perfect in so many ways because I don't really have Blitz Fox in my set yet. Um, and I need more Aquos and Earth, you know, like the sort of brown ones, <laughs> brown and gold. Anyway, um, enough of the Bakugan. It comes with the cards. I I wonder if this is going to have, hang on, just indulge me here briefly. My wife's in the kitchen with a friend of hers and they are having an absolute blast tonight. I will try not to cut myself open and have to go to the hospital to end all of the fun. She always says that she's worried I'm gonna do that though. That, you know, I'm going to be at home and I'm going to be filming or something and I'm going to cut something open and there won't be anybody here to take me to the hospital. Um, there is, a, of course, the sales fill-in sheet and it comes with its gate card, of course, and then just the character card, which is fine, and the two Baku cores. Plur. Um, so that's neat. I'll put those in my set. And honest to gosh, Rusty, it was a, it was a perfect purchase all the way around. I, I give, uh, him some playful jabs here and there, but I do want everybody to know how much I respect Rusty's game for finding deals, watching prices, checking products um he really does a great job uh some of the other things that he picked up for us oh man these mini block things are gonna kill you rusty um 
a couple of uh, short cards that are going to go up on my wall real quick. And Brandon, this does not replace the beautiful, beautiful polished custom that you have done. I've seen the picture. Uh, my eyes popped out. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, Rusty sent me one on a short card. So that's really cool. I, I like the short card stuff here and there. I think it really kind of works. Um, okay. I think I'm pretty well done here. Um, I, oh, I picked up an impossible man. And then I found Swamp Thing. Um, this is Swamp Thing number six. I don't know if it's a reprint or not. I'm going to have to open it up. I haven't even taken it out of the bag yet. And then I got a West Coast Avengers with uh, early appearance of Tigra and... Thundercat, oh, I don't know, I don't know. That's enough for this week, but I'll be back tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. Little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Help if they were on a keychain. Oh, no, that song is stuck in my head. Shit. Ooh, you know it smells like poo around you. You had me pull your finger. And then you let it go. Did you have to? Cause it cares. Da -da 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 -da.